everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas! It's the final day of our Inkvent calendar. So let's open up day 25. So let's see what we get for our final ink. Normally this is a much bigger one than the small bottles we've been getting. <laughs> Nearly ripped that thing to shreds. It is. It is a um, standard, I think this is 30 milliliter. I'll have to check. Let me check. Yeah, 30 milliliter. I have another one in this format. These are also plastic uh, pumpkin. Um, these are pretty practical to take along <laughs> because they're plastic and therefore won't break. Just to screw them shut well. Um, this is called All the Best. Um, it has a raspberry purpley uh, wrapper here and it is, if I'm not mistaken, a shimmer because that seems like a lot of shimmer. But I can't really tell because there's no handy green label. But yeah, this is... Um, for sure a shimmer. Shake it up, see, because now it's starting to evaporate in the ink. <laughs> we'll need much more shaking, but let's first free it. <laughs> so let's have a look what this Christmas Day ink has in store for us. That's a nice burgundy. That's a really nice burgundy. Let's see if I can get some shimmer out. I do hope there's shimmer in there. Let's see if I can dilute it and see what we get when I do. It's kind of like a raspberry. It's also fun. Yeah, let's let's see what happens when it dries. Nobody is surprised at my little Krampus, my kawaii Krampus for day 25. know because it's Christmas and the last day of all of this <laughs> advent calendar shenanigans and vlogmas I've decided to just paint this happy bat and use a few colors that were in the invent calendar not necessarily all is best probably not but you know other inks that I like so let's get into it
Go outside, the snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me, with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform, and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while, we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. All I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Mm-mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe Baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Mm-mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe Baby, with you Ooh. Making plans of what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moonlight Till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Mm-mm, so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day Chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and joy. so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you, with you. With I don't you. need any presents As long as I spend this day with you
So I ended up painting this um, with several inks and I also went in with my Neo Color 2 uh, water soluble um, crayons and I have an entire video about them up from a couple of days ago and I will link it down below. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, I used um, Peach Punch, Brandy Snap, uh, Black Ivy, Red Robin, and of course today's ink all the best. I used a little bit in the bow and then for the background, which I thought was like a really cool effect. It's kind of like burgundy stormy with lightning. <laughs> I like it. I mean, it's a very nice background ink. And um, I feel like the shimmer and sheen ones can be really good for backgrounds. So that's likely what I'll keep it for. Um, what I will say, if, if you accidentally, because this bottle has the habit of kind of going explodey. So I got a drop here and I tried to fix it, but it keeps reactivating if you go over it. So, which is why I, he has a bit of a pinkish spot in his face, poor soul. Um, it didn't actually bleed through, which really surprised me, but it also makes me happy because I kind of like the sketch. So that's good. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm overall quite happy with how this came out, especially with the Neo color. It gives like a really cool texture effect on the wreath as well. Um, but yeah, if you if you go out of lines, you can't really fix it afterwards. So that's something you should really know. It's a problem with a lot of inks, but with the darker ones especially. Anyway, this is my uh, piece with several inks and some Neo color. Stay tuned, I am having technical difficulties with my dip pen. Okay, so my dip pen has uh, decided to not cooperate at all. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you for sticking with me. That's what I tried to write. I give up. <laughs> and because it is Christmas, Merry Christmas, you can always see my scissors. I am unboxing this Nightmare Before Christmas thing. It's not a Funko, it's a mystery key. I think these are like the keys to Disney store you can get if you're there early enough at shop opening or some such. There was a Disney store in Antwerp once, but clearly I never had the dedication to go and stand there and be that early. Although the keys are very pretty. I like all the key designs, so I don't really care which one I get. And if it ends up looking really ugly, I can always repaint it. I got Jack! Yay! Cool! So it's just the same front and back. Yeah, this is neat. I like it. There's a little bat on the castle. Lots of like skulls. And then Jack Skellington. Yeah, no, I'm vibing this. I like this a lot. Success. I will say it's pretty fragile. So if you wanted to use this as a keychain, I mean, convert it, which you could, um, I really wouldn't recommend because the chance of it getting stuck behind something and snapping in half is quite big, but it will make for a cool decoration and an ornament during Christmas. I'm just gonna put some twine through here and then I can hang him up. Yeah, no, I like it. Good show. And so let's conclude day 25. Merry Christmas. 
first of all, like I said, I have put a string through this, so it's now a fun ornament. I like it, even though, like I said, the quality is not the best, but it's plastic and Disney. What did you expect, right? So, um, all the best. Well, I have mixed feelings about inks like these. I mean, some of them are quite nice. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of sheen inks as is. Um, I've made that very, very clear in the past. Um, but um, yeah, um, I like this for background painting. Um, I didn't like how the bottle exploded on me when I went in with my dip pen. Um, but uh, I mean, like, what the hell? This never happened before. But anyway, um, the ink itself, I like this one for background painting. And um, maybe I would use it if I were painting like garments in a portrait, um, uh, because I think that would be really cool effect. I mean, undiluted, this has its merits and I would keep it. Uh, well, I will keep it, but if it's empty, I would not replace it. Unless it happens to be empty and I have a project that it would be perfect for. But under normal circumstances, this will not be replaced. That's what I'm trying to say. But um, I'm also not mad at it. It's not a disappointment. And then my husband got me this. <laughs> this cute zero specifically. So there would be a Funko. <laughs> On day 25 and he's from the I think it's a, it's like a train and you get six in total because he has it on the back and I did see the Jack um, like who is pulling the train in his little wagon I didn't see him on a couple of websites uh, but aside from zero in duck cart I've not seen any of the others but um, I love zero and I thought this was adorable so my husband got him for me I keep it um, yeah, look how cute he is. He doesn't come off. I mean, that would have been, I don't think he does, does he? No, but his head does move. So he can look forward, which is also cute, <laughs> or back, see what's coming after them. <laughs> but I mean, he is so joyous. Look at that happy little face. And his nose is not falling off like the glitter zero. You could, I mean, you can see that in a couple of other videos in yesterday's and then the unboxing one of that zero. They're all linked down below. But anyway, I digress. He is adorable. The wheels don't roll, which is kind of sad. I wish they would. Um, but yeah, I just, I just love him. Look at the camera zero. I think, I think this one is super cute. I'm not. Um, a big Funko collector at all. I mean, occasionally there is one that I really, really like, and if it fits into my collections, I will, I will get it if it's not super expensive. Um, but otherwise, no. Um, most of my Funko's reader gifts, I got one free my Bill Cipher one at one point in a shop, and um, or just like really cheap, like my Reptar one was five euros in a bargain bin, so. Uh, <laughs> Clearly not a big Funko collector, despite the Funko advent calendar that went on up to yesterday. <laughs> Still, um, I mean, I'm a huge Rocketeer fan and I have the first Rocketeer Funko, but I did not buy the San Diego Comic Con exclusive one, even though they sold it on large um, .be and I wouldn't have to pay customs. I mean, no said, right? <laughs> but this guy, I absolutely love. Um, as for the Inkvent calendar, um, I did check out the package because it was just littering and it was ripped and annoying by the end. But I do have these, my final art sheet, which I, I'm no longer holding upside down now. And then my swatch sheet. As you can see, um, I'm going to hold this up because otherwise it's going to be sideways all the time. The ink was quite diverse. I still don't know why it was called the red edition because there's only actu one actual red in it. Is Red Robin here? Yeah, Red Robin. Um, so I have no idea why it was called Red Edition, especially because the wrapper on the small ones, because there was only a big one for the last day. The other ones were 12 millimeter. This is 30. Um, was green. It was like, what were you thinking, Diamine? And there were actually more reds in the blue edition from two years ago. So um, 
logic there is none but there are quite a few inks I will um, either buy immediately the second they are available to me without having to pay customs um, and there's a couple I will absolutely purchase when I have gone through the small bottle and then there's uh, a bunch of other ones I will use up and there's I think about five or six that I just do not want I have zero use for them but luckily uh, Lina my painting teacher and my best friend have a lot of use for those so I'm dividing them up amongst them and you know I, like literally every ink will get used just not by me and I think I will be giving um, this one pink one I will be giving that to my knees because it's like right up her alley as well so every ink will get used so that was absolutely not a loss and um I will for sure get another ink vent calendar. I would absolutely do this to myself again because I really enjoyed getting all these inks and it was so worth it because I am using um, uh, Peach Punch uh, at school for my orange monochrome portrait and it's it's been like so good in it. So I uh, absolutely recommend. I mean, if you're into oranges, you should totally get it. Uh, peach punch. I don't often say like you should absolutely get that but um, if you love painting with ink um, there's a couple in here and if you watch my series you will know that are 100% recommend. Um, so yeah would do the Diamine ink vent calendar again. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was great fun. Also great fun to talk about inks I pulled with friends who are also into fountain pen ink. Um, so yeah, it was just it was just a joy to um to have that experience all in all. So uh, yeah, that is absolutely up for repeating. Um, so yeah, maybe next year. I mean, um, I mean, if I don't, if there's no ink event next year, I <laughs> I will absolutely do something else entirely for vlogmas but if there is but yeah that was it for my vlogmas series i managed to go through all 25 days yes i too am very surprised but um i actually have something coming up for tomorrow as well for uh boxing day so uh, i feel like i was very like on my game uh strangely enough <laughs> but anyway um let me know in the comments down below. What did you think of this Vlogmas series? Um, do you enjoy the holiday season? Do you not? Or if you just want to talk about this video, leave a comment down below. If you do leave a comment, please be kind. And uh, subscribe if you want to stick around for more uh, of my random content. I would really appreciate it. It would be good fun. Um, anyway, that was it. Merry Christmas. I hope you all have an excellent Christmas day. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!